So now we get to that piece in the Haggadah of the Albabanim, the four children. And we all know this, the, there's the Chacham, the wise one, and there's the Rasha, which I translate as the alienated one or the rebellious one, the Tam, the naive one, the innocent one, and the one who doesn't know how to ask. And many years ago, it was pointed out to me that the, these four archetypes, these four children, are actually our own cognitive stages of development. I started off as a small child that couldn't speak. I then uh, went into a stage where I could say the Manish Tana. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea what it meant. Uh, and that went on, that period went on for quite a long time. And then, most of you are probably familiar with it, you get to the teenage years, which is you become alienated, you become rebellious, you begin to ask hard questions like, what are we doing this for? Again, again, again. Were you ever in Egypt? Did you ever suffer? What is, did God bring us out? With everything that's happening in the and world? With everything that's happening in the world right now? I mean, do me a favor. Like, come on, don't you have better things to do? All those questions. It's that rebellious phase of life. And it's a very difficult time for parents to deal with teenagers going through that, uh, that phase and eventually you move out of it and you begin to be a chacha. What does that mean? You do your first degree, <laughs> you do your second degree, some of us do our third degree, we have on the wall certificates, a lawyer, a doctor, <laughs> Uh, an academic, a businessman, and we now have answers. Some of us go to yeshiva and we learn a lot. We now have answers. We're chachamim, and our parents are very proud. Look at my son, the doctor. Look at my son, the lawyer. Haven't they done well? Didn't we do good? And we see ourselves at the pinnacle of this pyramid. And we can ask really detailed questions, just like the one right down here. And everyone goes, wow, what a smart guy to ask such a smart question. But that's not the end of the journey. Maybe that's only the beginning of the journey. Because whereas that's the cognitive journey, we now have the spiritual journey. Where at a certain point in our life, we suddenly realize, that's it. Like, that's all to life, is my intellectual knowledge and the things that I have gathered around me, the, uh, the wealth, the commodities. And for many of us, begins the journey the spiritual journey, where we question all that. All those things that we were told are the foundations of our culture, the foundations of a good life. We begin to question and we move back into the rebellious one. And our parents go, what? You're a lawyer. You're going to give all that up? Are you crazy? You're going to go to India to go where? What's the matter with you? You got a good home. <laughs> you, your whole life is settled. It's all lying in front of you. And you know in your heart of hearts that there's a vacuum there that, that will never be satisfied like this. And you begin this next journey looking for answers and asking questions that Wait, wait, what are you asking? And you move and if you're blessed, you find a teacher, a rabbi, a rebbe, a guru, and you have to move into a state of naivete. 
where you have to empty your cup and have a cup that's empty so that it can be filled with other type of knowledge. And then you learn how little you actually know. And then you move into silence. This is how little I know. And you start the journey again. The four children. ברוך המקום, ברוך הוא, ברוך שנתן תורה לעמו ישראל, ברוך. כנגד ארבע אבנים דיברה תורה, אחד חכם, אחד רשע, אחד טעם, ואחד שאינו יודע לשאול. חכם, מה הוא אומר? מה העדות והחוקים והמשפטים אשר ציווה אדוני אלוהינו אתכם? ואף אתה אמור לו כי הלכות הפסח אין מפטירין אחר הפסח אף יקומן. רשע, מה הוא אומר? מה העבודה הזאת לכם? לכם ולא לו. לא. ולפי שהוציא את עצמו מן הכלל כפר בעיקר ואף אתה הכהה את שיניו אמור לו בעבור זה עשה אדוני לי בצאתי ממצרים, לי ולא לו, אילו היה שם לא היה נגעל. Your reading of the רשע is much more forgiving than the one in ההגדה. תם מה הוא אומר, מה זאת? ואמרת אליו, בחוזק יד הוציאנו אדוני ממצרים מבית עבדים, ושאינו יודע לשאול. את פתח לו, שנאמר, והגעת לבנך ביום ההוא לאמור, בעבור זה עשה אדוני לי בצאתי ממצרים. And something that we learn from the Haggadah is how to parent our children, how to answer them. Not necessarily the way that it's suggested here, but this is also something that we can learn about good parenting. So I want you to reflect upon that. It's not just as the children, ourselves as children, our own stories, but how are we parenting our children? 